Hello everybody! This video is going to be quite different because it will be two parts. One will be my journey to pick up all of um, the legal documents of my new daughter, of my newborn. And I was thinking also to tell you some of the requirements so you will be better informed just in case you are a foreigner here in the Netherlands and you would like your newborn to be legalized. And the second part is about my uh, visit to my favorite luxury shopping mall, which is the De Bayenkorf. And this time, I went to their brunch in The Hague because the Philippine Embassy is in The Hague. And I realized that there are so much more brands that are offering high-quality leather items at a fraction of the price of the luxury brands that I am very, very crazy of. So you will also see that in this video, but on the second part. To help you navigate through this content, I will, um, I will stump, I will do the date stump so that you can jump which one is more interesting for you. All right, so I hope that's okay and keep on watching. So now let's start the journey. This is Arnhem Station and this is going to be um, the station where I will just go out and then go into another train to go to the Den Bosch Station where the immigration is located. As you can see, it's very clean, very less people and it is very automated so you see less personnel maintaining the site. Of course, I'm going to take the lift. So when you have a newborn, you need to make sure that they are legally residing in the Netherlands. So for now, I am heading to the Den Bosch IND and because I was informed that the residence card of my daughter is uh, delivered there. Now, you need to pick it up, but before it is produced, you need to definitely um, apply for it. And in the website, which I will put in the description of this video, I will. Uh, there is a form, and there is also uh, some sort of guidance on how to decide what type of application you need to do for your daughter. And because I am uh, working in the Netherlands, then it is quite straightforward that my daughter will actually be sponsored by myself. So what will happen is that her legal uh, uh, residence duration here would be according to how long is my residence card uh, duration. So it cannot be shorter, it cannot be longer. So now I am traveling to Den Bosch and then you will see how beautiful the landscape is of the Netherlands and how well spaced buildings are. There's still so many empty spaces and I think the planning they have on this country is definitely, definitely well thought of. I travel during the middle of the day so there's not much of passengers. From this station, it is just going to be 3 minutes by walk to reach the immigration office. And don't forget to scan out your card because you can easily forget. Um, in a moment, I will show you a huge bike parking location. 
it will not be in the Netherlands if there is no bike parking. There you go, it's massive. So these are the requirements for the residence permit of newborn from non-Dutch parents. So registered address in the Netherlands. You as a parent should have a valid residence permit. You need to fill out the application form with all your legal information. Within one to two weeks upon immigration confirmation of the receipt of your application, you need to send photos. There are guidelines to follow for this. You need to send it by mail using another form. And then to pick up the residence card, personal appearance is a must. So in my case, it is impressively only five weeks lead time. So I'm very happy it turns out to be so fast. I think this is the building. So I tried to pick up her uh, Bella's residence card um, without bringing her because she's still coughing. She's six weeks old, but the authorities here are very strict. So they didn't give me her residence card, even if I told them that she was sick. And then I have pictures from the hospital and then I, I bring all the documents and I am her mother. It is not allowed, so they said they need to see the child. And I'm not sure, okay, I respect the uh, decision, but it's just so difficult for, for us to bring a six-week-old child in, uh, in, in there. Uh, it's a failed. I have told you, um, the immigration didn't uh, give me the residence permit of my daughter. Have some cold coffee first, caramel macchiato. It's minus two. And they ask us to come back again, <laughs> bringing Bella. It's really a struggle during winter, especially when you don't have car to go places. And then you have children. One of my regrets is not to have a car here. Well, then now I will need to go to the embassy to pick up Bella's passport. So there are two identity, ident, uh, legalization, legalized documents that I need to make sure she has. So the first one is the residence card. So there's a train there. And then the second one is her Philippine passport. Um, I just would like also to clear up the misconception that if you if uh, a child is born in the Netherlands he or she will be automatically a Dutch citizen no it's really dependent on what's the nationality of the parents and in our case we are both Filipino so Bella and Vutus is a Filipino all right, so I'm waiting for the train and I am going to The Hague because the Philippine Embassy is in The Hague. And when it arrives, then I will show you. In the meantime, kakain muna ako. I am carrying with me my Corelle Pudge Daily Battle 227, I think. So, yeah. And inside the bag, what's in my bag tile? I have a pretzel because I am afraid to be hungry. I have, let's look. I have a headset, a big wallet, Bella's medical um, book, my agenda. Uh, MM I think or a medium agenda and then umbrella Whoa another phone Have my lipstick my charger and my uh, perfume in there Yeah, and that's it. I'm a light packer actually this one I This bag have a lot of things already I think this is my train. Uh, 
Okay, now I'm inside the train and heading to The Hague to pick up my daughter's passport. There is one very important document needed for the passport application, which is the international version of the birth certificate from the municipality in the Netherlands. And it has to have the apostille from the appropriate district court. So that's a mouthful and probably quite complicated to hear, but you can ring or phone the embassy and they can explain it to you further and on the website uh, the list of requirements are available and passport application is not free so you need to pay for that and i would recommend if you are applying for passport then you can also combine it with the report of birth at the embassy you can do report of birth first and then passport application later but it's much better and more efficient to combine Tilburg. Now I am waiting for the train going to Den Haag. So I am in Tilburg and I didn't exit. So there is some construction here happening on the side. I think they are going to improve it to be like this. That's the concept. And there's a lot of shops outside. You have Aho. There are books in there. Albert Eins. Um, there's also the Brood Sack here. Alright, so. And that's the stairs to go up. And these are the escalators and the elevator to go up. I still have to wait for like more than close to 20 minutes. The train looks like. Passport availability is relatively quick because I applied it before a week before Christmas and it's already available four weeks later and imagine it has still to be sent uh, to the Netherlands from the Philippines so it's quite impressive. I think need to praise them for their support for the Philippine Embassy in the Netherlands. Job well done and very the lady there is very accommodating to me. This is Den Haag Central, so maybe you cannot hear me. I will go to the embassy, so I need to take the truck back. And let's check which number it is. I think it's number.
this bag is definitely dependable and worry free. And in one of those white buildings, there is the Philippine Embassy. This is the hack. So I will go to the buy and car, my favorite shopping mall. Media Mart, guess. CNA, Hema. A lot of dogs. Knives or sneakers. <laughs> I'm going there. That shot. Mark Jacobs. Oh, this is so nice. This is their most popular bag as of the moment. The material is thick and is of high quality. It's a good buy. Oh, it has a side pocket. I don't like this material. Oh, the long jump. Still a lot. Fifty percent off. Grave. And the eye. I don't like the closure. Red ones. Forty percent, so four ninety minus forty percent. Oh, this is interesting. I really like to see this. The leather is really soft. Amazing. But I actually like this one. Two forty-five. It's nice. For a tweet. This is a bigger version. Three fifty five. Cool. Then it's cheap. Rather do. Fifty. Oh, not bad. This one's also nice.
225 and the big one is 275 ah, there's also the pink version this one it's beautiful and this is rainbow colored shade Wow, I didn't expect that. Mm, ganda rin ito. 325. A white bag. And it even has a pocket. Is it leather? It's leather. Wow. And the inside is also lined with leather. Amazing. Oh, now, see by Chloe. Very boho style. And they look or appear quite similar, just different when it comes to the hardware. This one is $3.95, quite fairly priced. The design is quite complicated and uh, when you feel the leather, so I'm wow. approaching my favorite. This the one is, is amazing, really but nice. it's like a boho style, to the shop but it's and really nice. Feel it by yourself. Wow. I didn't know they have this kind of beautiful. <laughs> Bags from Chloe. See by Chloe. Let's check the price. This brown is the same as this one. And let's see the price. This is a soft leather, so okay. The other one is a lot better. Four thirty-five. Not bad. Ganda. I like this. The person picked either these two, brown. I like more. Finally, from the hearts. This is the heart from Coach, and it is 375 euro. Wow. It's a bit difficult to open. I think I would fall with the heart grace, but it's beautiful. And this is the one with their monogram. Now the selection for the shoes. We have Off-White and Chloe and they are so beautiful. Surprisingly, Kurt Geiger also have this like a Chanel, Chanel sandals and oh my god, judge for yourself. Here are Kurt Geiger fashion jewelry. Then I tried on Chanel sunglasses and oh my god, they are so beautiful. But oh my god as well, they are equally so pricey. These are like 500 to 600 euro. <sighs> Maybe next time. No funds for now. I had coffee from Ely and this is a very simple uh, Valentine's Corner. <laughs> Good night, everybody. So, in the next video, I will show you what I purchased from the Bayan Corf and why I pulled the trigger to pay for it. Thank you so much, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.